talk about like the way to get Intel on a market. I mean, you mentioned real estate agents. That's one thing we've gotten really close with is the different, you know, top agents in a market. Uh, we talk to the property management companies, even though we don't use all of them. Um, but we like try to stay tight with them and we've used a couple different ones. We're now just with one, but I feel like those people are like a great, uh, resource, right? And that's people always will message me and like, Hey, like, I thought about buying this little, you know, cabin or whatever it's in this market. It's really not that established. Um, and I'm like, dude, go talk to property management companies. I mean, number one, you got to manage it. And then I was like, right. I talked to real estate agents. I mean, is that kind of like your view is like get the Intel from the people that are the experts in the, in that place. It's a little tricky because uh, my answer may be a little jaded because this is now my world and because I, you know, run a, a high ticket coaching program now with with thousands of students. I'm like so immersed in every market, uh, you know, from Canada down to Mexico now that um, it's it's gotten a little um, convoluted. And so all my all my I just have a lot of data to show like where things are going and, and what I think about different markets. I say for the average person, the best place that you can start is using a tool like an AirDNA.co. Um, or a um, Rabu, right? Any of these sites where you can kind of look at a city's statistics, understand what the general occupancy is, what the average nightly rates are, see how many properties are in the area. I'd say I'd say for most people, a great rule of thumb to use is you want an average occupancy in a city to be above seventy percent. You'd like a um, the average nightly rate to be above one hundred and fifty dollars, and at least two hundred and fifty active listings, unless you know that that market is just like a little subsect city right outside of a, a major city or a, or a bigger market. But those are some good guidelines that people can follow to to figure out a good market to invest in. Do you think you have to be careful when you talk to the local people because they can maybe try to sell you on it, right? It's like some real estate agent, she's just trying to tell you what you want to hear or some property management company just trying to tell you what you want to hear because they make money if you transact. Yeah, absolutely. I think that one thing that you can do to, to kind of get a third, one thing that I've done at least was when I was trying to figure out where to invest, I started using everybody may not have this tool, but I started using my audience to ask people questions about, Hey, where do you guys travel? Hey, I'm not, I say, Hey, I'm from, I'm from California. Haven't spent too much time in the South. Haven't spent too much time in the East. Where do you guys love to travel for camping? Where's the go-to spots? And then everybody goes, Oh, we love the Smokies. I didn't even know what the Smokies were. You know, Oh, we love going to Destin, that beach. We go every single year. And now, you know, come to find out these families will literally get four or five families together run up every single credit card they can because there is no doubt that they're miss that they're going to be uh not missing their trip you know to wherever they're going this year